Augustine, welcome to Bermuda. First time here, you had a chance to uh, look at the track yesterday down at Southside. What did you think of it? Uh, yeah, I got to look at the track yesterday and I actually got to ride a little bit. It's really nice for, you know, such a small island. It's, it's a nice track for a small island. and Short and tight? Yeah, short and tight, but you know what? You can get the job done out there. <laughs> <laughs> what got you involved in the sport of, of motocross? Uh, I started out riding when I was about five years old. Yeah, just because my dad did it, and I wanted to do it, and then um, we got racing when I was about eight, but didn't really take it serious till I was about 15, mm -hmm. and then from 15 to now 19, it's it's gone up a lot. What what is what what intrigues you about the sport? Uh, you know, it's it's honestly addicting. Once you do it once, it, that's all you know, really. I mean, it's just you keep coming back to it. it it's honestly hard to describe. You just gotta try it yourself. What, what, how did you find out about Bermuda and, and now you're here? Birthday weekend. Yeah, birthday. Um, the Mings used to come out to my house during the summer. Mm -hmm. um, they had always kept their stuff at my house and everything. And uh, I met Jonah and um, his brother through Ike in America. And then everyone just kept coming to my house during the summer. So it was just a Bermudian summer <laughs> at my house. And then I uh, always wanted to come and I finally got to make it out here. Yeah. What are some of the things you've accomplished in the sport thus far at a young age? Um, so, you know, I, I've done some nationals. I've had a, quite a few injuries, but I've been able to pull out some top tens at mini O's and um, stuff like that. I, Supercross Futures, I've gotten seconds. And um, just mini O's 2019, I got fourth in Supercross and uh, fourth in Outdoors also. Now, the sport is, is one of those where injuries is always likely to happen because <laughs> So many bikes on the start line, getting off that start line first or, or in the front pack. How, how important is that to pay attention to the start and be that much more technical than the, than the next racer? Oh, the start is everything, you know. Um, if you get a good start, it makes your moto a lot easier. You get a bad start, it's not going to be that fun of a moto for you, especially out here with all the rocks. Now, you're going you're gonna to be on show New Year's Day in Bermuda uh, to try and show people what you're worth and basically try to show people that, you know, you've got talent as well as the Bermudians, but, but you're up against some tough riders. What, what are you expecting on the day? Uh, you know, I'm just going into it to have some fun. Um, definitely beat Aaron Kenner, though. For sure beat him. Oh, All the smacky <laughs> talks, yes. For so sure. You, so you got, a, you got a bullseye on somebody? Yeah, <laughs> bullseye on Whitey, for sure. <laughs> All right, so now, Vice President of uh, Bermuda Motocross Racing Club. Yes, sir. Um, come New Year's Day, Big day. Yes. Uh, what could one expect on on New Year's Day? Uh, racing. You know, um, we do have our American Nate coming down to battle with our expert riders. Um, um, racing Aaron Kenner, uh, Zamir Darrow, um, Zende Fabula, um, just to name a few. Uh, Gap from the bar yard. Um, yeah. We're expecting to have a mechanics race, a ladies race, you know, have fun, fun. Big day for the club. Yes, sir. All right, yeah. well, good luck and we'll see you there. Yes.